Welcome to Spreadsheet Geek. This is the first video in a series of videos I'm calling the Spreadsheet Geek Problem Series. I've worked with a number of accounting systems and most of them have this problem. You want to pull data out and sort it, but because of the way the data is blocked off with headers, it makes it impossible to sort. This video will provide two solutions to this common problem. This video was made using Microsoft Excel 2019. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. This is a report that was downloaded from a very popular accounting system that begins with a Q, but there are many other reports in other accounting systems that look very similar to this. It happens to be an accounts payable report. We've got vendor names here on one row, followed by a listing of invoice numbers, invoice dates, due dates and amounts and a subtotal for that vendor. Then we go on to the next vendor and so forth. Now imagine that this list is much longer. I always make these short so they fit on the screen and they achieve my purpose. But if you're in a business environment, in all likelihood, you're gonna have a hundred vendors and a thousand invoices split up between them. So. What's wrong with this report? What's this problem I'm talking about? Well, what I'd like to do ultimately with this accounts payable report is sort it by due date. And I want all of the invoices I need to pay first at the top. But I need to retain the vendor names so I know which vendors to pay. I'm gonna wanna create a new column for vendor name on each one of these rows and then I'll just get rid of this row and do the same for each subsequent vendor. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use this column B and you'll notice that this changes from a word to a date which is a number. So that's something that the is number function can queue on. Is number returns either a true or a false, depending on whether it sees a number in a cell. So if I ask it, do you see a number in that cell? And that's a date, uh, it comes back true. But if I ask it what it sees in a cell like this, it doesn't see a date. So it's either a, a true or a false. So let's get on with this. What I'm going to do is insert a column. I'm going to right mouse click here and just say insert. That gives me a new empty column. And I'm going to widen that out a little bit so I have enough room for my vendor names. I'm going to use the, the change in this column from words to numbers to blanks to words and back to numbers. And I'm going to type in my if statement. And embedded in that is going to be my is number. And I'm going to ask about this cell up here, C3. So if that cell is a number, and I'll close that off, and that statement is satisfied as true, I'm going to show, and this is the value if true I'm plugging in now, what's above this cell. And if it's not true, I'm going to show what's in this cell. Having a little trouble there. So as you can see, I can go ahead and paste this all the way down. And I've got my vendor names filled in. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and put a vendor header on that column. And let's pretend like this is a big report. I'm going to hit 
shift end down arrow and I'm going to sort and it's not going to work. My, my data has headers. Let's sort by, we can sort by anything that's in the chunks of this that we want. So I'm going to sort by invoice number. Sort anything that looks like a number as a number. So that didn't work. That's a mess. Our, our column B changed and it's because we forgot to do one important step and I'm going to take us back so we can do it. Formulas don't sort very well. So all these formulas need to be changed into words. How do you do that? I'm going to go ahead and hit the home key. We're going to copy these cells and then we're going to paste them right on top of where they already are as values. So now those formulas are gone and that's a value. I'm going to hit the escape key to get rid of that dashed line. And let's try this one more time. Shift N down arrow. I'm going to sort my data. I'll go ahead and sort by invoice number. Actually, I, f I need to tell it I'm using column headers. So I'll sort by invoice number. And now I've got a bunch of garbage at the bottom. Those are all those rows I didn't want anyway, so I'm going to delete those. And now I have exactly what I wanted. Now I can go ahead and sort my payables list by due date. Oldest to newest. So the bills that I need to most urgently pay will be at the top of the list. Now we have what we needed, uh, a list of invoice numbers and vendors and amounts. We have everything we need to go into the accounting system and set up our check run. There's a second scenario that looks like this. Sometimes the vendor name is above a column of empty cells and then you get to the next vendor name. This situation is actually easier to deal with. There's a very nice trick. I think the people who created Excel had an idea people would want to do this. So all you do is type the first one in. I'm going to say that equals B3. And a very important step that's often forgotten, you go copy cell B4. <clears throat> Now, after you copy that cell, we're going to highlight column B and we're going to use the find and select menu to go to special. Now, you can actually get there through here if you hit special, but uh, I'll just use that one. Now, what we're telling Excel here is to select only cells within this column we've highlighted that have a certain attribute. So I'm going to tell it to select blanks. Now Excel is smart enough to know to stop here and not go any further. So it'll just go down to, to the bottom of your information. And from there it's pretty easy. You just paste and all of your vendor names appear. We'll go ahead and copy the whole column and paste as values. And I'll get rid of that. Now I'm in a position to go ahead and sort what's left. And I'll sort by <clears throat> invoice number. Once again, we've got the good stuff at the top. And there you have it. Now I can go ahead and sort this by due date. And we get to the same place. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, please consider hitting my subscribe button. And if you'd like to see any particular problem solved in the future, please drop me an email and I'll try to get to it. 
Thanks for visiting Spreadsheet Geek.